With the help of the starlight event, I was able to reach 220. If I didn't have the event, I would have trained at the Mushpod 4S6 up until 220. Now that we're 220, let's head over to Lashlin. In Lashlin, we unlock our third arcane symbol. This adds more dailies such as the Dream Defender. I won't be covering it in this series, so make sure to look up a guide for it. With three arcane symbols, we are at a point where we see significant progress. We are getting very close to tackling Chaos Root of this. We will be focusing on increasing our Ignore Defense stat, aka IED. I tried to recube my emblem to 6% attack and the line of IED, but rolled 9% attack. I rerolled my inner abilities as well. For more Link skills, I made a Luminous for the additional IED. Also, I made an Angelic Buster for Terms and Conditions Link. As you enter Vonbon, there are two patterns that you must look out for. The first one, it is a swing. This one will stun you in place and deal massive damage. The second one is the energy ball. This one will kill you, so you must dodge it. When Von Bon reaches around 70% health, you'll see two more patterns. First one is the jump pattern. This will kill you, so make sure to jump before Von Bon lands. Second one is the time rewind. This brings you back to where you were when it was casted. This is what it looks like when Von Bon decides to use them together. When Vonbon disappears like this, find the portal and kill the Vonbon inside it. There's damage over time, so make sure to use your potion. When Von Bon reaches critical health, it will spread its wings every time it teleports. Do not go near it. Also, you will have particles fall from the sky. You must dodge the purple one as it will kill you. Pyrrha is notorious for its split mechanics, so we must plan wisely. There are several mechanics that we must look out for. Most importantly, we will not hit Pyrrha when we have the same color hat. This will heal him. On the other hand, we do double the damage when we're wearing the opposite color hat. For example, red and blue, or blue and red. Before the split mechanic, the only pattern that can one-shot is the red Pyrrha's teleport skill. Simply move away from the spot. Blue Pierce Tornado locks your skills, so make sure to move away from that as well. Purple Pierce Smash confuses your character, so watch out. Our game plan is to kill Pierre before the split. The split happens when Pierre falls below 1 3rd HP. We'll get as close as possible to 33% health, wait until we're wearing opposite colored hats, and find a burst.
The Crimson Queen has four different phases. Neutral, Seductive, Sad, and Crazy. All of them have a scratch pattern that apply different curses. The Neutral Queen applies damage over time and limits your vision with scratch. The Seductive Queen spawns a mirror that you must break. If left alone, it will seduce you and kill you. Also, it spawns hearts that explode. Her scratch will lock your skills, so make sure to dodge them. The Sad Queen shields herself. Do not hit her, because this is a damage reflect. After the shield pattern, she will cast a curse. This curse makes your potions hurt you rather than heal you. Use Hero's Will to remove it. Lastly, her scratch applies damage over time. The Crazy Queen summons black holes. This will do damage, and you will be sucked in. The Queen herself also sucks you in. Being sucked in will kill you, so move away as far as possible. Thank you for watching.